Hey everyone, welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. Chad. Hey, today we got a good one for you. It's Tuesday, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a good old classic battle. So stick with us to hey. see what it is. Huh? <laughs> and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! So hey, I don't know if you guys have been watching along, but for the longest time what we do is we do these battles. What's your shirt where say? We pick the, what? What's your shirt say? Where we pick these envelopes out of the bucket and drink two you get that bourbons shirt? blind. Tell them why we drink them blind. What? Where'd you get that shirt? This is an IU shirt, bud. That's right. Why is that? Huh? Why are you wearing an IU shirt? Oh, because I fell down and got grass stained on my shirt. <laughs> huh. I think IU might have beat Purdue the other day. How many times this year? Just once the other day. So I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> so I think they swept them. Get out the broom. Anyway. <sighs> you made me lose my train of thought. So in our blind battles, what we do is we drink a blind. Tell everybody why we're drinking blind. Um, well, because it's so bright in here, you have to shut your eyes when you take a drink. <laughs> you, can't, you couldn't see them no matter what. Right. That's studio lighting, pal. Ugh. So we drink it blind because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label. We just like good whiskey. And with that being said, you guys already know what we're drinking. If we can remember, we change these. Don't forget, right? So we're going to get right into them. We'll put them up on the screen, show you what it, what's what, and who's who in the canoe. You want to drag, drag one out of here, bud? I can. He looks good in that shirt, doesn't he? Red's my color, do you think? Huh? Yep. See if you can break him first. That's the way to do it. <laughs> yes. It's like playing cards with my brother's kids. It's hot. sitting here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. You nerve wracking sons of bitches. That's two. That's two. Hey, while, while we're getting these out and ready to rock and roll, that's one. Uh, we want to tell you, coming out later this week is part one of our two-part series. Yep. Uh, called Sip It, Don't Flip It, where we talk about why, what our opinions hey, are. My wife wants her money. I know. What our opinions are in the secondary market and selling allocated whiskey for more than it's worth. And why we pour these, I'm going to take a second. We'll flash something on the screen here. Uh, take, a, take a minute to go to our website at uh, bourbonbattlesblind.com. Check out all of our social media, most especially check out that Patreon page. We're building a really cool community. Yep. And there'll be a video just talking about our Patreon community in general coming out soon. I left some. And hey, we've got a ton of feedback. You know how there for a while we were stopping the video and saying we'll come back with our thoughts? People didn't like that. They want to hear you don't say. Hear us act like idiots. Really? You believe that? Did you say that? I believe that 100%. Ooh, dog. I think this might be a unicorn killer series. Really? Smell that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it already just on the nose of number one, unicorn Very killer. Very sure like that makes you feel funny. It makes you act funny. You know Make that. Make you act dumb. <laughs> you look good up there in the stands cheering for them. Like this? Whatever you do. If I go to a not, never mind. Yeah, say it. You can go to a football game or a basketball game. You name it. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't necessarily own everything in this battle box. So we're going to call it the battle box. Whatever this is, I really like it. First sip, it's hot. And if I don't own it, I want it. It's super hot, but also sweet on the finish. Finish is long. Goes for days. Make you not want to drink no water, bud. You know what, you know what I do to you? oily. Hey. Make you shit your hand and rub your hair. <laughs> what are you going to cuss for? You taught me that saying, bud. That's all you. Thick legs, high proof. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> been one of them days. It's for, a shirt. For those of you that have been around us a while, you know. There's a lot of shenanigans that goes on. Number two is fantastic as well. Got a lot more oak. You ain't tried it yet, have you? Mm -mm. You an eyedropper, Chief? I don't. 
I, I maybe was going to, but I don't need one. Oh, I saw you playing with that bottle cap. You did. I think the nose smells better on one. I think there's more ethanol on number two. I I feel like they're both high proof, but I don't think the the ethanol's too overpowering. Number two definitely has more ethanol. Yeah, but if I'm right about their crazy high proof, it's not horrible. Ooh, doggy, man, that is good. You better not have chapped lips when you drink it. That second sip was a lot better than the first. I've had the second before. I don't know what it is, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to say it because you're going to get mad. I think you should say it. I think not, it's an Elijah Craig barrel proof. It tastes like peanuts. <laughs> I hate That's to, why I said it. I hate to say it. I never, I've never said that since we've been drinking whiskey together. I've never said that. Yeah, I think it's an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Or a Heaven Hill or Jim Beam, high proof, something or another. You know why you get peanuts in Jim Beam and Heaven Hill? Why? Because they... Well, oh, the fire. Yeah, because Heaven Hill caught on fire and they lost their yeast strain, so Jim Beam loaned them there. Did, so. they have their fi- did they have their yeast strain hiding in a rick house somewhere? Who? Heaven Hill. But I'm just telling you what I heard on the interwebs. Where'd you hear that? Off of a very well-known... Uh, YouTube guy and the YouTube people or I mean who else would you get your news from I'm gonna investigate I'm gonna call Heaven Hill tomorrow good luck yeah but that's Heaven Hill or Jim Bean and it's high proof so I I, I call Elijah Craig I have never tasted peanuts in whiskey since you and I have been drinking you're never gonna get it out now it's gonna last it, you every time from now on you're gonna get them why am I tasting that Bud does. That's just how it is. It's got peanuts. <laughs> it's peanuts. It ain't got peanuts in it, so I can't. Under, I can't explain it. I say these are both great whiskeys, and I'm ready to pick whenever you are. Need some more, Chief? No. So we alluded to our our episode that comes out later this week. Um, would you pay extra money on secondary for these? Well, we don't even know what the hell they cost. That's hard to say. Right. Do you like them both? Do you think they're both really good whiskeys? Yeah. You ready to pick? I am. On three? Well, we're going to say which one. Oh, I, I say a little better. I say one's a lot better. A lot better. You're going to pick one, two, three. I wondered if that would happen. So I picked one, you picked two. You like that Heaven Hill barrel proof. If that's what it is, I'm going to be really surprised. I mean, I'm not saying it's not, but... You may go first since I'm number one. They already know what we're drinking, so we don't have to be all dramatic. Go ahead, dramatic. Can you spell that? Dramatic cast. D-R-A-M-A-T-I-C. Number one, which is what I picked. I do not have a bottle, but I've got this. Is George T. Stagg from 2022. Thank you, Robert, Patreon member, for sending this out <clears> to <throat> us. Um, this is obviously out of the Buffalo Trace. This year's expression is 138.7 proof. Um, undisclosed mash bill, but you can figure it out if you got Googles. This retails for $99 and goes upwards of $12, $14, $16, $18, What'd you pick, Chief? It's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I know it because I can taste it. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Wow. 131.8 proof. And you said a lot better. I did. So let's get one of these bad boys out. This isn't the same bottle because this one's unopened, but this... 80% corn, 12% rye, 8% malted barley. Uh, it's you, brown foreman, and I I am a little surprised, but I'm not crazy surprised. I said a little better. Um, I think it's I think it's a lot better. Than, than what year is this? This year's. Uh, 2022. I thought I would I would have guessed I'd have picked this. This makes this a unicorn killer. Uh-huh. Of the utmost kind. So that means you picked the killer, so you have to hold the unicorn. Now, what's his name? Mike. (laughs) So that is probably one of the most interesting battles we've ever done. And that's why we drink them blind. And there's going to be people that, oh my God, these guys, George T. Stagg is a million times better than that Jack Daniels. Whatever. It was, I thought it was very close. You didn't think it was that close? I mean, yeah. I, I thought it was close, but I thought that one was a lot better. That's all. So, would you pay secondary? Prices? I don't know why I taste peanuts. I, I don't know. I kind of I thought it was Elijah Craig. So, 
That's an interesting one. Let us know in the comments what you think. Follow us on all of our social media that you can find on our website. Check out Patreon. What else you got there, Mike? Well, if you drink, don't drive. If you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crawl.